Welcome to the NGIT website and math podcast. My name is Vanessa, and today I'll be covering reducing irrational expression to lowest terms. Reducing irrational expression, and don't forget, irrational expression is an expression where the denominator is not one. There's an expression. There's a there's terms on both the numerator and denominator. Um, you need to use a combination of um, distribute, distributive properties, factoring. And, and eliminating common factors in order to reduce them to simplest form. So I'm going to go over four examples to show you different little different tricks that you need to know. The first example, I'm going to start off with something relatively simple. x to the fourth plus 2x cubed all over x plus 2. Okay, the x plus 2 is pretty much simplified. You can't do anything with it. So the only thing, the only part you can probably even manipulate is the numerator. So you look at the numerator and the first thing that should jump out at you is that you can factor out an x cubed out of each um, term. So that would be your next step is to factor out x cubed and then left over you have x plus 2. And then just repeat what you have in, in the denominator, which is still x plus 2. And here you have a common factor, x plus 2 in the numerator and an x plus 2 in the denominator. And they will cancel each other out. So your final answer that you're, you're left with is x cubed. So you are able, in this case, to reduce a rational expression with that had a highest power of 4 to, and to a highest power of 3. Next example involves some more factoring. This is going to be x to the 6th minus x minus 6 all over x cubed minus 3x squared. And it's just a stipulation provided that x cannot be 0 or 3, which is true because if you were to apply 0 or 3 in the denominator, you'd get um, a constant over 0, which is not um, defined in this function. But it's from, as far as um, reducing it, it's pretty irrelevant. So let's look at it. In the numerator, actually, this should be a x squared in the numerator. I apologize. x is 6 would be a little bit too high. So. Let me just uh, erase that. And x squared. OK. So the first thing is in the numerator, we should be able to factor, pretty simply, the numerator by factor by um, inspection. So the this will turn into two terms being multiplied. And if you do, you need a number that multiplies to be negative 6 and adds to be a negative 1. So that would be positive 2, negative 3. So you're left with x plus 2 times x minus 3. Okay, and then in the denominator, you won't be able to factor, but you can do as we did in the previous example and factor out. So in this case they have an x squared in common. So x squared and then what you have left over it would be an x minus 3. Again here we have two common factors, or well, one common factor which would be x minus 3 in the numerator and denominator which can be 
cancelled out, and then you are left with your final answer, which is x plus 2 over x squared. Okay, have next example. Two x cubed plus eight x squared all over three x squared plus twelve x. So again, here we just have an example of just factoring out common terms. On the, in the numerator, we can factor out both a 2 and an x squared. Because that's this is a term that both have in common. So then, what's left? In the first term, it would just be the x plus, and then the second term it would be 4, because 2 goes into 8 4 times, and then that would be it because we are we already took out the x squared. So in the denominator, we could take out a 3 and an x. And then what would be left over? In the first term would just be x, second term would just be 4. Here we have a common term of x plus 4, which will be cancelled. And then in this case, we also have the common term of x and x squared. Because they're multiplied, you can divide the x squared plus divided by x, which actually is just, it cancels out the bottom x, and then leaves us at the top, this becomes a 1. So then our final answer is, since the x plus 4s were eliminated, the x in the denominator was eliminated, and the x squared on the top was reduced, is we just simply have 2 over 3 times x. And one more example. x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay. Now, please keep in mind that even though you have an x squared on both top and bottom, here at this stage, the x squares are only terms in both the numerator and denominator. They are not common factors. Common factors are multiplied, not to, or com they're multiplied or they're divided. Common factors are not added or subtracted. Um, what's being added and subtracted are just simply terms. So you can't just simply go like this and assume that they're eliminated. So in order to eliminate, you need to have term terms that are multiplied times each other. So what can we do in this case? In the numerator, we can't factor out but we can break x squared minus 4 into two separate terms, or two separate expressions, I mean. As you know, x squared minus 4, if you may know, is a perfect binomial, which breaks up into x minus 2 times x plus 2. And that's in, in its most simplified form. In the denominator, we all need to factor by inspection the denominator, which should also break up into two um, expressions. x squared minus 4x plus 4, you need two numbers that multiply to be a positive 4, and add up to be a negative 4. So that would be x minus 2 times x minus 2. So in this case, 
one of the x minus 2's in the denominator can cancel with the x minus 2 in the numerator. And then we're left with our, sim our final answer, which is x plus 2 over x minus 2. And that would be our final answer for this problem. So thank you for visiting the NGIT website. If you need any further assistance, please feel free to stop by the CAPE or the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment located in Kufrin Hall, room 200. Good luck in your studies.